What's up everyone? I'm Tim, and this is the Tesla Snack. Alright, so today we're going to do an efficiency test. We got a uh, standard range plus, we got a standard range with the LFP battery, we got a long range rear wheel drive and a performance, and then a regular dual motor. So we got pretty much every kind of Tesla Model 3 variant there is. This is the team. Alright, so we got my dad here with his uh, long range dual motor. You think yours is going to win for the efficiency test? Maybe. But then we got my brother-in-law Joseph here. Hemi. <laughs> so he's got uh, some stolen valor here. His actually originally was the $35,000 Model 3, and um, he uh, put some. <laughs> he put a dual motor performance badge and a spoiler, so people think he's got the the sleeper performance Model 3 that they Tesla sold for a while. His parents uh, paid $2,000 to upgrade it to the Standard Range Plus but it still doesn't have autopilot, so his is definitely the lamest car here. And then here's my beautiful wife. Hi. This is our 2019 Tesla Model 3 long range rear wheel drive. It's so we've had it uh, since the summer of 2019, has almost 90,000 miles on it. We've driven it all over the country. We've driven it to Yellowstone, New York. And then we got my car, also a 2022 Tesla Model 3 Performance. And uh, I've got 19 inch aero wheels from aftermarket EV, fast wheels. And uh, so mine's the only car here without stock wheels. All the other cars have the 18 inch arrows. Here's my father in law. Theirs is a 2022 standard range Model 3 with the new LFP batteries. All the, the tire pressure is uh, the factory settings. We're going to be running our AC uh, 68 degrees Fahrenheit. We're just going to drive a loop. We're going to drive down to uh, Chula Vista where we live and then back up here to Rancho Bernardo where my in-laws live. All right, so which car do you think is going to win this efficiency test? Lowest watt hours per mile. What do you think? Oh, maybe the one with the LFP battery. Yeah? I've, I've heard good things about the LFP Model 3 that people say it's really efficient. I think but, uh, my spoiler might take it. Do you think your spoiler is going to make all the difference? I think it's going to fall off. Well, I, off. I, I, <laughs> this one's one of them. You think so? Oh, yeah. You think yours is going to win? Well, we take it all the time for yeah, cross-country road trips. Years. So yeah, I think my car is going to do a lot better than with the stock 20 uh, Uber turbines. <laughs> what do you think? I think I'm going to win because they have the heavier car. It's heavier? Well, that's we're, that's we're, bad we're for going, efficiency. We're going down south, so we're going downhill. We're going to, yeah. <laughs> I like a tree beard in The Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I like going so south because it feels south, like going downhill. Going downhill. <laughs> All right. So, like I said, because I have the 19-inch uh, wheels, I changed the configuration of the wheels to the 19-inch Geminis. Uh, to, you know, so they're a close match. They're also aero wheels from Tesla that you can't get anymore, apparently. But um, that's the closest match to what I have. But anyway, starting with 61%, says we're gonna get there with 51. Round trip, 40. Yeah, all right, so let's see. All right, so everybody reset their trip computers. When we get down there at the halfway mark, we'll compare how everyone's efficiency was on the way down and then uh, we'll drive back up here and uh, see what the round trip efficiency was. Beautiful day. A little hot though. 91 degrees outside. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna try to stay together.
Watt hours per mile, not bad. Uh, pretty much ever since we got off the freeway, it's been uphill. Yeah, so everybody should be rolling in behind me one by one, so... Anyways, yeah, we'll compare everyone's efficiency. Let's see how we did on the range prediction. Wow, pretty, pretty close. Pretty in line. 50, yeah, it's pretty good. That's the last 30 miles, and we just drove 36, so. All right, so we made it. We're down here at the Chula Vista Superchargers. Yeah, so this is the halfway point, the turnaround point. Uh, right now I'm gonna get in everyone's car and we're gonna compare everyone's watt hours per mile. All right, so let's start down here with uh, Joseph's with my brother-in-law's car. Okay, trip. Let's see, wow, that's pretty good. 36 miles, he's seven kilowatt hours. 186 watt hours per mile, that's pretty good. It's my dad's car. Long range dual motor, let's see how he did. Uh, okay, oh there he is. Okay, 36 miles, seven kilowatt hours, 203 watt hours per mile. And for the wife. How do you think he did, babe? Pretty good. All right, 36 miles, seven kilowatt hours, 196. All right, so Joseph's winning so far. He was 186. He's cheating. Now for the LFP Model 3. Wow, 36 miles, seven kilometers, 188. So Joseph's winning. He's got the best efficiency. You're in second, Genevieve's in third, and my dad is in fourth. Joseph, you're winning. Right. You're number one in efficiency. Yep. <laughs> And for the moment of truth, the Model 3 performance trips. Ah, oh, 219. Yep, the worst of the bunch. That was to be expected. 8 kilowatt hours, 219 watt hours per mile. So we're getting ready to head back up. All right, Joe. <laughs> thing about autopilot is that it works off freeway. You can use it uh, on regular roads as well. By the way, I've had my hand on the steering wheel the whole time. So just so you know, autopilot is not full self-driving. You do still have to pay attention. You still are in control. So I have my hand on the steering wheel at all times. Okay, so we're starting with 50. And we're gonna get there with 40, not bad. So 10% to drive about 36 miles to get back to where we started before. So that means they're all getting better than five miles per kilowatt hour on a mostly freeway drive. Sure, we're only going the speed limit. We're going 65 the whole way, but that's still pretty good. Over five miles per kilowatt hour. That's impressive. That shows how efficient these cars are. But uh, as for a little update, trips. All right, so whole trip so far. 65 miles, we've used 15 kilowatt hours, 230 watt hours per mile. Now going back, going back north uh, is more uphill. Everybody made it. There's my wife, and there's the father-in-law. So we're going to get the results. Let's start with 
the 2022 LFP Model 3. Let's see. I don't know. I held my breath all the way home. <laughs> you think that made you lighter? Yep. All right, final tally. Whoa. 73 miles, 15 kilowatt hours, 199 watt hours per mile. Wow. Is that pretty good? That's really good, yeah. So round trip averaged just about five miles per kilowatt hour. Oh man, I'm nervous. All right, here we go. I'm nervous. Oh, dude, you won by a lot. What? 189 yeah. watt hours per mile. You beat him by 10 watt hours. Is that pretty good? That's really good. Wow. I'm a champion. The 2019 long range rear wheel drive, the wife's car. Let's see how she did. All right, What's 209. What's my placement? So you're third. Yeah! You're the third most efficient. 2022 long range dual motor, 212. Wow, pretty, pretty close to the wife's car. Hers was 209. The performance model three, 231. Wow. <laughs> 231. Wait. You suck! Wait, what was yours? 212, okay. So that's the difference between a long range dual motor and a performance dual motor. If I had the 20 inch Uber turbines with the Pirelli tires that came on this car, it would have been a lot worse. It probably would have been close to 300. These tires and wheels make a big difference. You know, if I got the 18 inch, I could have gotten the 18 inch wheels of these, the same wheels, but 18 inch, that probably would have made me even more efficient, but no offense you guys, I think the 18 inch wheels look too small. <laughs> I don't like the 18 inch wheels. The, the 19 inch wheels just look better, I feel like. They're a good compromise. Or a car? Now you did say I could win your, your car. Whoever had one <laughs> well, we had to get Willie in here somehow. <laughs> so hope you really enjoyed our first video. We have lots of future exciting content planned for 2023 taking the Tesla Model 3 performance to Button Willow Speedway, taking it to the local drag strip, racing some supercars. My brother-in-law's got lined up for us. Uh, Lamborghinis, McLarens, Acura NSX. So please like, subscribe, comment below, and we'll see you next time here on the Tesla Snack. And the first place of the efficiency test goes to Joseph Marshall! Yeah, they, that's true, the wait, megaphone. Wait a features. minute, one of us does it. <laughs> My wife's car is the only one without the speaker because it was before they put those in. Yeah, Joseph with his... Yeah, my spoiler, his, Joseph. Hey, hey, you, you cleaned up the yeah, blue. It looks nice. You know what my blue looks nice? You cleaned it. It's your car. <laughs> it's your... Oh! <laughs> I thought I was looking at your car. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here's the crappy glue job. Oh, there You're it like, is. wow. Okay. All right, can we go home now? I'm hungry. <laughs> All right, well, this is fun. <laughs>